Warranty registration forms are supplied with each system and can normally be found in the manifold box. Alternatively, the warranty registration can be completed online at apricus.com.au forward slash products forward slash product dash registration. Complete the owner's details including their name, address, contact number and email. Add the system details starting with the system model include serial numbers for the collector located on the back of the manifold and the storage tank located on the front of the tank. Include your details as the installer, your company name, contact number, the date of the installation and your signature. The seller's details must also be included on the warranty form. Add their company name, address and contact number. A warranty form must be completed for every Aprica solar hot water system installation. An STC is a small scale technology certificate. This is a tradable commodity attached to eligible installations of renewable energy systems. STC assignment forms will vary depending on the trader you decide to assign the STCs to. Some STC trader examples include Green Bank, Green Energy Trading and Renewable Energy Traders. It's well worth shopping around to find the best available market price of the STC on the day of your application. The example we are using here is the Green Bank assignment form, although the information required by most STC traders will be similar. For your reference, there is a checklist on the STC form to ensure that you have included all relevant information. Complete the owner's details including their name, address, contact number and email. If the installation address is different from the homeowners, you will need to add that information in too. Indicate whether the installation home previously had a solar hot water system or heat pump. And the new system details, starting with the system brand, include the system model number and storage tank serial number. Add the size of the tank, the number of tubes and the installation date. There are a couple of other questions unique to the install. Complete that information and move on to the installer details. Include your company name, address, contact number and email. Select the correct payment option for the install and include the relevant banking details. Mark an X in the appropriate option for the GST declaration. Include the correct number of STCs available for the installed system. Check the available STCs online at rec-registry.gov.au then select the solar water heater STC calculator. A VEEC stands for a Victorian Energy Efficiency Certificate or VEEC forms will vary depending on the trader you decide to assign the Victorian Energy Certificates to. The example we are using here today is the Green Bank assignment form. However, as with STC's assignment forms, the information required by most VEEC traders will be similar. Follow the checklist on the VEEC form to ensure that you have included all relevant information. Complete the customer or customer's details including their name, address, contact number and the date of installation. If the installation address is different from the owner's postal address, add that information in too. Include your company name, address, contact number, email and license numbers. Mark an X in the boxes relevant to the installation activities that you have conducted. Add the system details starting with the system brand. Include the system model number, the storage tank serial number and the collector or manifold serial number. Add the compliance certification details including the plumbing compliance certificate number and CES number. Complete the form of benefit section including the correct number of VEECs available for the system you have installed. Check the available VEECs online at vet.vic.gov.au then select calculators. Complete the decommissioning details if applicable and include all available details for the system you are removing. Complete the installer's declaration marking an X for the option appropriate to you. Include your name, signature and date. Select the correct payment option for the install and include the relevant banking details. Finally, you will need the customer to complete their declaration including their name, 
signature, and date. Congratulations! You have now completed all the requirements for installing an Apricus system.